All right, I got to do my Max 6 bat at the Fit Club, and today I have the great pleasure to have three-time Olympia bikini champion, Ashley Kaltwasser. Ashley, welcome to Muscle Beach TV on JTV. Thank you for having me. Well, so this is like a long time coming. Jay was adamant. He said, you need to, to have Ashley on, on JTV. She lives in Vegas now. She's right here. So uh, we made some phone calls. Actually, our good buddy Matt behind the camera uh, reached out and he got you here today at Fit Club. And, and we're so glad to have you here. Oh, my gosh. It's such an honor. I've, I've been watching these interviews and I'm like, it's so cool. I get to be in one now. Ooh. Were you watching her on your channel? Yeah, of really? course. Yes. Yes. I, I never assume that everybody's watching the channel. It's always nice when people tell me that. I'm, I'm really happy. Mm -hmm. Yes, bikini girls watch it too. Mm -hmm. We've had a lot of bikini girls, a lot of female on the channel lately. Have you noticed? Yes, I did notice. And I'm like, why did you pick me last? What the heck? I, I guess you, you know what? You're kind of hard to get the hold of. Actually, I sent, I sent you a DM and it took more than 24 hours to hear from you. Oh, more than 24 <laughs> hours. Sorry. <laughs> Actually, Matt had to intervene. So thank you to Matt. Uh, manager Matt. So Ashley, I really want to talk to you because now we're less than four weeks. I think we're three weeks out from the Olympia or three and a half weeks, right? Oh, I think it's less than three weeks, is right? It, is it two and a half? I, well, was it three out last like weekend? Two and a half. Yeah, really? I think. Oh I could God. be wrong. Don't don't quote me. Oh my God, that's gonna come so fast. And of course, it's it was uh, relocated to Orlando, which kind of sucks a little bit since you're you know uh, local in Vegas now. How does that affect your your prep? Any uh, uh, is it bother you or are you actually happy that it moves over there? Well, you know what? It is. It's ironic because I just moved here, and I'm like, yeah, I get to be near the Olympia. This is my hometown now. It's gonna be so convenient. And it turns out it's getting moved to like the other side of the country, but that's okay. You know what? Honestly, I'm just happy to be able to compete with all the craziness that's happened this year. Whatever, I'll take it. I like Florida too. Although I will say with the humidity, it's really hard for the tan to stick. But other than that, love Florida. <laughs> uh, the fact that you guys will be able to have a crowd, I think will be a lot e better for you guys, uh, right? Absolutely, yeah. and hopefully get to meet all the you know fans and everything like that. It's such an exciting weekend, so I'm glad. Yeah, I, I can't know. imagine being one of the elite like you guys and to, to have to compete just like the guys had to do at the Arnold last March where there was only the competitor and no crowd. It's got to be so weird, right? Oh, gosh, yeah. It is very, very strange. It feels like you're almost like just practicing. But, yeah. hey, yeah, that crowd, it definitely means a lot. It yeah. definitely gets the adrenaline going and yeah. gets you even more excited. Of course. So I want to go back a little bit. Actually, since it's the first, your first time on the show, I want to go back a little bit. And Jay tells me I don't want to I don't want to say that she's old because she's not old but I consider Ashley one of the OG one of the original champion in the bikini division uh, you've won the, the Olympia three times and you're still uh, you're still at it hopefully uh, for a fourth title this year take me back a little bit and, and tell me when you got started in the uh, in the fitness game and when you decided to actually compete to make it all the way up to the top sure thing so I have always been an athlete I was a track runner I did gymnastics I was on a scholarship um, to run in a Division One college, 400 meter hurdle. So I've always been an athlete. So after my college career was over with, um, I kind of felt lost. I was like, whoa, wait a minute. I'm not like training for anything. There's no like goal. There's no competition. There's no meet. This feels so weird. I felt very lost. I felt just kind of a little bit depressed. Like, what, what am I doing, you know? I was just bartending basically. So I kind of saw what my former high school track coach was doing she was doing figure and I followed her on Facebook and I saw like whoa what is this this looks kind of fun I want to see what this is all about so I went to her gym and I checked it out I trained there and I was like you know what I'm gonna try this and then from there I noticed that there's also a bikini division I'm like oh yeah that looks even more fun than figure this is right up my alley so I ended up training for it and uh, I found success pretty early I would say and I just went from there and I I'm just su surprised I got as far as I did. I just never really expected to have like these titles and stuff. I, I don't know. So I'm just very lucky. And I think coming from track and having that track background, yeah, yes, yeah. I really didn't have to make any extreme changes. The biggest change was like my diet. But I just, from there on, it was like, it was magic. I was like, this is so much fun. I got to be doing this. So what year are we talking about when you actually uh, discovered I, well, I started looking into it in 2011, but I started seriously competing in like 2012. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you went to the top pretty quickly. What, what year was your first Olympia? Um, my first Olympia was 2013. And yeah. that's when you won? Yeah. That, wow. Yeah. I was crazy. Whew, that was a yeah, crazy. Yeah, that doesn't happen too often. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. And um, um, 
when you when you you know got into it and started training, did you find people who actually kind of guided you along the way or uh, and, and taught you about nutrition and training? Or how, how did that work out? Uh, yeah, I had a coach who um, she coached a few local athletes. Um, but yeah, I mean, honestly, I did a lot of research myself, though. I every single night I would replay the same Arnold classic bikini video over and over. And I was like, one day. I would love to be on that pro stage, and I and I was there. <laughs> you know so what I mean? Visualize it by watching it, like Every it burned in your memory. Single night, yeah. I watched it. I watched it. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yes. When you got into it, um, you said that you were you you didn't expect to rise to the top as fast as you did. But were you uh, uh, set on winning the Olympia? Was that a goal of yours, though? Honestly, no. 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 I mean, no. did I want to win the Olympia? Yeah. Yes. But the way I kind of did it throughout my career is like, I would set little tiny goals, right? So like, I first, I was like, I want to turn pro one day. And then when I want to turn pro, I was like, I want to win a pro show and then go to Olympia. And at the Olympia, at my first uh, Olympia in 2013, I was like, you know what? I did it. I'm here. I made the goal. I, I'm living the dream. I made it. I'm competing with all these girls that... I looked up to you for so many years and I saw them on that video. The ones that yeah. I would look at every single night. I saw those girls and they were like such a big deal to me. I'm like a little bit like fangirling. I'm like, oh my God, I can't. I'm like right next to them. I was like, oh my gosh, you know? So honestly, the goal was just to get there. And then I was like, you know what though? If I were to get top 10 at the Olympia, whoa, that would be extra, extra good. That would be like icing on the cake. And not only did I meet that goal, I exceeded it. Because the way I, I don't know, kind of plan out my goals is like, I, I tend to be a little bit more realistic and keep grounded. And not to say that I won't win, but you know, train to win, but also realize, you know, where you're at. So if I can meet the goal, that's great. But if I can exceed my goal, that, it blows my mind. That's the best feeling is when you can exceed your goal. Because the way I think of it too is if you kind of come into a show assuming you're going to win, you know, and you won, it's kind of like, okay, yeah, I was, ex I was assuming that. I was expecting that. Yeah. And if you don't, it's just a disappointment. Yes. So I got to keep a good head on my shoulders. And let's be honest, especially with bikini, it can be a little bit unpredictable. You know, I just tried, tried to bring my best package and leave nothing left. And as long as I know that I did all I can possibly do and there's nothing left I could have done better and I gave it my all, you know, I got to be happy with myself. So that's my, like, I don't know, words to live by, I guess. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good attitude to have. And that way you're never disappointed and you're always happy with yourself and proud of what you have achieved. But do you feel like uh, the criteria has changed uh, since, since you were champion? Do you think it's different a little bit today? Or how do you think the evolution of, of the bikini class is going? Um, yeah, maybe a change in the sense that there is way more competition yeah. um, and it's coming from all over the world, right? So when I first won, it was basically, I want to say like 75 to 80% from the USA. Mm. And now I feel like it's 50-50. Wow. And those Brazilians, man, those <laughs> Brazilians, <laughs> I see you. <laughs> yeah. the, they're taking over. <laughs> Hey. Well, they have that new <laughs> class also this year. They have that new, uh, what's it called? Uh, wellness. Wellness. Yeah, yeah right. they do. So they have wellness. Maybe they can just go on the, on the class, right? <laughs> Yeah, you, you <laughs> bikini girls, you go, go to the wellness. It's sort of like built in for them. Yeah, so the, the talent pool is getting much deeper every single year. So okay. it's like harder and harder to like place high. So, you know, I kind of realize that. So I just, you know, I just got to go with the flow and, and do what's best for me and bring my best package. And, you know, we'll see. Yeah. What, what is the uh, show you actually want to get uh, your pro status? Your yes, Team Universe Team 2012. Universe York, right? um, it was in um, New Jersey, actually, oh, okay. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So Steve, Steve Weinberger. Yeah. Just, yeah mm -hmm. awesome. And then so what was your first pro win? My first pro win was, I, it was Michigan, the Detroit pro show. Okay. Yes, wow. powerhouse pro, yeah. And of course, winning the Olympia, unbelievable, the rise to success. How does winning the Olympia three times has changed your life? In what ways? Tom, I'm sure you became uh, a role model for a lot of girls getting to bikinis. Many times when I do interview, I ask them who influenced you, who, who did you love to, and they always mention your name. You're one. Oh yeah, you're one of them for sure. So who who did you uh, who did you who inspired you, and who did you feel like uh, were, was your motivation when you came up the rank? Honestly. 
it's going to sound strange, but no one in particular, but I just saw little pieces of competitors and kind of grasped onto those. Like, you know, I would say from a career standpoint, Amanda Latona was one that I was mm. like, oh, man, she's yes. doing it right. I just loved everything about her. And, yeah, and, and to answer your first question, how has it changed my life, it's made me extremely grateful. Like, you know, I realize that I'm in a position that – very few people will ever experience. And that's why I see too. I went farther than I ever thought possible ever in my life. I exceeded my goals big time. And no matter what happens from here on out, I can't be mad. I got to be grateful wow. because wow, this, this sport has given me like a career and not only a career, but something I love doing. Like I'm just like, ah, still to this day, I'm just like, can't believe it. Wow. <laughs> yeah. What a great attitude. When you were going to school and you were a track athlete, did you, and you were growing up being a little girl, did you have like a specific, did you have like a career? Like, oh, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a vet. What did you want to be when you were little? Was that, I'm sure that wasn't bikini champion. Oh, yeah. It's changed a few times. Like, oh, I want to be a nurse. I want to be a cheerleader. I want to be a firefighter. (laughs) But never one time, I will say, never one time (laughs) was it a bikini athlete. Um, In college, I was kind of doing family development, social work kind of stuff like that, and also a little bit of nutrition as well. So that's where, like, the fitness, that definitely helped me with fitness too. But, uh, yeah, I never saw this coming for me, and I love it. It's just like, I don't know how I got here. I don't know how I'm standing next to you on Jay Cutler TV. <laughs> how did I get here? I don't know, but I love it, and I'm going to keep going. I'm gonna, I just got started, so let's, let's how long, how, Yeah, well, let's talk about that. How much longer <laughs> would, you do, would you want to compete? Oh, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm just not getting started, so we'll see. Forever. So you're thinking one day, one day at a time. You <laughs> see, having fun. Time. One day at a time. I will say this, though. I think when my time has come in bikini, or I think like, okay, maybe no longer this is a good division for me for whatever reason, I can switch to another division. I can do fitness. So, so you, you know, could? Oh, yeah, because of gymnastics? Yes, wow. I still got those skills. I can still do backflips and all that wow. good stuff. The only problem is your girl is really small. Like, look at this. Small. So it would take a few years to put on some muscle, but... That's something I would consider Whoa. when my bikini career is over with. All right. So you like to perform? Yeah. I like yeah. to be on stage. I just like having that goal to work for, you know, yes. and being active and not just training, but training for like an event is just like, I don't know, so much more meaningful to me. Who helps you out now? I know you brought your coach with you today. Who, who what is his name? Um, he is Adam Bonia from Team Elite Physique. And wow, he is a blessing. He's like my best friend now. And I met him a few years ago and then we just clicked and then... Wow, we're just like the same person. Yeah, you <laughs> so guys. We have a lot of fun together. He travels with me and all that good yeah, stuff. Yeah, I remember. So you, you, you're, you were in California when I was living there a few years ago, but uh, are you actually from there or did you move? Where are you actually from? What state? I'm from Akron, Ohio. Okay, yeah. nice. Okay, mm-hmm. close to the Arnold. Yes, okay. yes. And mm-hmm. then when did you move to L.A.? I moved to L.A. in 2016. Okay. Mm-hmm. I was there for a few years, and I just moved here to Vegas. So Last June? Yes, this June, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Why mm-hmm. did you move to Vegas? Oh, gosh, because I finally decided to grow up a little bit, you know? <laughs> Get my, what is it, my big girl panties on. I bought a house here, and, yeah, yeah I'm settling down. So, like, yes. you know, I did the L.A. thing. I lived in Hollywood. I lived on the Starwalk for a few years, and that was fun and everything. But, you know, this is more of, like, a, a realistic place to live it's a lot cheaper and yeah. let's not yeah. even forget about the awesome fitness community here Great. you know yeah and gyms like this it's yeah. amazing so yeah. i'm very lucky what is your normal uh, home gym you came you came here today and you 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 trained here before but where do you normally train in vegas on a regular i'm just kind of jumping all, gym hopping all over yeah, the there's place. so many yes. it's great yeah. it is it's like you go to a different gym every single Based day of the week body, body yeah. Training. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and awesome. then my my coach is actually building a gym here in vegas too hopefully that's done in like sometime in january nice. or something like that and that's where i'll be training from there on out that's so awesome. yeah all right Ashley, I think we got to know you a lot a lot more today, finally. I think it was uh, nice to have you on JTV. You have a lot of energy, and I don't feel, by the way you talk today, that you're nowhere near uh, ending in this sport. I think you have a lot to offer, and your attitude is great. And I think it's important not only to be a good athlete in this in this industry, but to, to be someone that people can actually look up to and motivate. And it's so important, don't you yeah. agree? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. you got to have a good attitude, and I will yeah. say it definitely helps you along as well, having a good mindset. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. All right. Dave Man Max 6 for Jigoto TV with a great Ashley Cotwasser. Three-time Miss Bikini Olympia, hopefully four this year, and we're out.